so I'm sitting here on this lovely sunny morning, sarcasm inserted, <laughs> with uh, January Jones, who is like every bit as cool in person as you would imagine. Thanks. And last night she revealed something earth shattering. The first time you cried after seeing a movie. Yes, White Fang with Ethan Hawke. Who is your co-star. Exactly. And your husband. Yeah, <laughs> I was really excited to work with him. Just I had been a fan since then. I think I was like nine or 10. Saw it at a sleepover. Really moved me. And you couldn't, it, it just the water works. Yeah, it, it, it was, I mean, it was a, a, a helpless feeling. I couldn't control them. I couldn't control the tears and I felt embarrassed about it. And I just, I don't know, any, anytime I'm scared or, or feel uh, not empowered, I want to have that control. And it kind of made me want to be an actor and be able to make people cry or laugh or feel emotions like that. What was it like playing Ethan's wife after this it pivotal was childhood experience? Um, I mean, he, he is just just a, an amazing person and a, and a great actor. And he, ha, I mean, he's been doing this most of his life. And he um, immediately puts you at ease. I felt like I could trust him. We had a lot of difficult subject matter to play mm -hmm. out. So um, he, he, was, he was great. And he also known and worked with, with Andrew for a really long time. So there was a, they had a great way of communicating, which I quickly caught on to. And, um, you know, it felt like a very safe environment. It was really sweet. And are people intimidated when they first meet you because they they think you may be like Betty Draper? I hope not. I don't think so. Maybe. Is that why thing. I don't have any friends? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Since you were saying that you wanted to become an actress so you could move people, what are a couple of things that you've seen or read that have really moved you recently? Um, well, I watch a lot of animated films recently. I think the two times I've cried the most o over a film, at least, have been Big Hero 6 and Song of the Sea. Song of the Sea, like, put me over the edge. Have you seen that? Mm -mm. So good. I, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm a woman getting older. I'm hormonal. I cry quite often, sometimes in traffic. Um. Rage <laughs> crying or, like, sad crying? Not rage crying. <laughs> It, maybe it is. It's just so <laughs> internalized that it's like a song will put me over. But yeah, the Housewives reunion part three was really emotional. Beverly Hills? Beverly Hills, yeah. See, just, I, have to, I just want those sisters to make up. And what else? Have, uh, I mean, are you reading any like grown up books or is it just. I read, I'm reading a lot of books, but it's like Game of Thrones and not anything that's. I mean, every time I get attached to a character in that series, they get killed. So, but it doesn't make me cry, it just gives me nightmares. What else am I reading? I'm reading um, Belle de Jour's Guide to Men. Have you read that? No. It's not, I think it, it was initially meant to be a guide to men, but it's, it reads like a romance, uh -huh. like a kind of a fun, she was an ex-call girl, or she's an ex-call girl in, in England, and she just has lots of hilarious stories about um, men that she uh, worked with. I think it needs to be made into a movie. If you, you should produce. Yeah. <laughs> or be her. Or I'll direct. Or yeah. <laughs> Such an awesome name. And are you a cook? I do like to cook. And I just started doing a Blue Apron. Oh, my, my neighbor's doing that. She loves yeah, it. Yeah, I love it because, I mean, it's, it's, you don't have to go to the grocery store and I, but it makes, you still feel like you're mm -hmm. act like a chef, like cooking a really gourmet meal. But my son doesn't like it. There's a lot of, there's too many flavors, but I really enjoy it and it's, it's easy. And, but yeah, I love, I mean, I, I, I try to cook a lot. I try to cook every meal. Did you take anything home from Mad Men? No, I wasn't uh, allowed to. I wanted to take a lot of the costumes, but they were either going on auction or into a museum, which is bizarre. Um, and I wanted to take uh, my watch that Betty always mm -hmm. wore, this like Movado, vintage Movado watch, but they didn't let me take that either. Um, yeah, I, I didn't, I have my memories. I wish she could have <laughs> taken her bathrobe. Like she had the most amazing. No, like, none sleepwear. of the. I wasn't allowed to keep any of. And a lot of the, the stuff that Janie Bryant designed, we mm -hmm. had multiple multiples of them, and I wasn't even. I should have just okay. stolen something years ago. I mean, what are they gonna I mean, do? Like, have Betty die and reappear in a shower scene? Like, yeah. please. No, but it's. I mean, they're selling them. I'll have to go to the auction, I guess, and bet on it like everybody else. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. You're welcome.